हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज राकेश वेलकम टू माय चैनल राकेश सोशल सो स्टिल नाउ इफ एनीबडी नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू माय वीडियो प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर विथ योर शेयर इन योर व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर लुकिंग अबाउट एंगुलर वेलोसिटी एंड एंगुलर एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ द कनेक्टिंग रॉड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर लुकिंग अबाउट द एंगुलर वेलासिटी सो इन दिस वी नीड वी नीड टू ड्रा दिस फिगर बाय लोकेटिंग दिस पॉइंट्स b b dash and this is a piston movement from this is the bottom dead center and this is the top dead center and this is the crank and this is this is the crank this is the connecting rod so connecting rod is indicated with length l and crank is indicated with length r radius and this is the perpendicular distance a1 and this is the a distance this is the inner dead center and this is the out dead center so first we need to locate these uh, angles sin beta so sin beta itself we opposite by hypotenuse that means y by l then y equal to sin beta sin beta into l l into sin beta y equal to then sin theta then sin theta equal to opposite by hypotenuse y by r then y equal to r into sin theta this is the equation 2 we need in this in this angular velocity we need to equate these two equations that means l sin beta equal to r sin theta then we need to differentiate this step then uh, take l as a constant then d by d theta with, with respect to time we are taking so sin beta so r take as a uh, constant then take outside then differentiation of sin theta then it becomes l into cos beta differentiation of sin beta becomes cos beta and here we are doing differentiation with respect to time <coughs> that means we have to differentiate this beta as again d beta by dt and r cos theta into d theta by dt so we are differentiating with not theta with another term called t so that's what we are differentiating and we are writing again this d theta by dt then next step l into cos beta into wc this is nothing but connecting rod so a velocity of connecting rod that means d beta by dt t becomes omega c then r into cos theta into d theta by dt becomes omega then here omega c equal to r into cos theta into omega by l into cos beta then this this all terms we have to write as another side it becomes denominator that means it becomes division then here we don't need the, we don't know the value of cos beta then we need to then we need to go with formula cos square beta plus sin square beta equal to 1 then we need to check the value of cos beta in this process so We, uh, we want cos beta value. Then we have to take all terms as another side. That then it becomes under root one minus sin square beta equal to sin square beta is nothing but sin beta is nothing but y by a y by l as we seen initially. Sin beta equal to y by l. So then here we are we, here square is there. So we need to put square for y and for l. Then it becomes this y. Then we are writing instead of y we are writing r into sin theta. So initially we wrote here sin theta equal to y by r. Then when y equal to r sin theta. So we need to substitute this value in place of y. Then it becomes here square is there. So we need to write r square minus sin r into sin square theta by here again in 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 l we wrote r n. that means angle of obliquity because the uh, angle of obliquity n equal to l by r so l equal to r into n we wrote here so then we got 1 by n into under root n square minus sin square theta so we need to substitute this cos beta value in this in this final equation then we get the exact final equation of the velocity of the connecting rod then we are substituting this value is 1 by n into under root n square minus sin square theta in this equation so we need to simplify this equation then we get the omega cos theta by under root n square minus sin square theta this is the velocity of the connecting angular velocity of the connecting rod so then 
then we need to go to the angular acceleration of the connecting rod so in this differentiating uh, differentiation of velocity we are doing the, uh, we are doing in this differentiation of velocity we are writing so in this place uh, this is the angular velocity in this place we are substituting the what we get the value of the angular velocity that means omega cos theta by under root n square minus n square theta we are substituting this value in this omega c, p c place then we are writing we are then we have to differentiate this one so uh, this new this denominator we can write as numerator by so this under root becomes 1 by 2 for whole term we can write 1 by 2 also of if we cancel root then we can write as 1 by 2 then when it becomes uh, numerator then it becomes minus so we wrote here omega actually here omega omega cos theta into n square minus n square theta whole power minus 1 by 2 so here we are differentiating so that means this omega is taken as constant outside and here d theta by dt becomes omega and next step we are uh, differentiation we are derivating this term that means here it is looking like uv into uv formula we have to use here uv formula that means uv formula we know that u v dash plus v into u dash that that means you, you have to write u as usual and v as differentiate that means i am explaining now here this omega and this omega becomes omega square and differentiating this cos theta so cos theta into n square minus sin square theta this whole term uv formula we are applying u u means cos theta we can write as as same like as same like this cos theta only and v dash that means this we have this term we have to derivate that means uh, we are using this formula n into a power n minus 1 we are using this formula as here here this half becomes friend n square minus n square theta into minus 3 by 2 that means here n plus 1 no so minus 1 by 2 plus 1 this 3 by it becomes minus 3 by 2 and then uh, we are then the, uh, we actually take this n square minus n square theta as a single term that means it, single term so that so that means we have to differentiate again this term that means differentiation of n square becomes 0 and differentiation of minus sin square theta becomes minus 2 sin theta cos theta so now u v get u v dash gets over after that plus v u dash then here v means n square minus sin square theta whole power minus 1 2 we, we can write as usual into u dash that means here cos theta so we have to derivate this cos theta then it becomes minus sin theta so this step we completely understand then you have to write you have to simplify this so your main aim, to, main aim is to get the least uh, formula that means least uh, formula so angular connecting rod so this is the angular acceleration of connecting rod alpha c means then omega square here sin theta we have to take here uh, we are finding these two terms this is the one term up to here one term and this is the another term so in this we are taking sin theta as common here sin theta is there and here sin theta is there so we are taking sin theta as common then cos square theta this cos theta and this cos theta we are multiplying then it becomes cos square theta by this n square minus n square theta whole power minus 3 by 2 so here inverse minus means here inverse so we are taking this as denominator n square minus sin square theta whole power 3 by 2 minus here again we are finding this n square minus sin square theta whole power minus 1 by 2 this is the in it is in the form of inverse and we are writing as in um, division form decimal uh, in dividend form 1 by under root n square minus sin square theta then here we have to take these two terms as lcm then we will get this cost here cos square theta minus n square minus sin square theta after that you will get the you have to simplify in that sheet this minus you have to um, this minus becomes plus that sheet and finally you will get this minus omega square sin square theta into n square minus 1 by n square minus sin square theta whole power 3 by 2 i think you will understand this exact derivation so 
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल लाइक लाइक एंड डू लाइक एंड डू शेयर एंड माई नेम इज राकेश सैनिंग ऑफ